this short video, we're going to learn how we can populate a Moodle glossary with pre-created terms that we have in another form, e.g. a spreadsheet or a table in a Word document, rather than us having to manually enter each item one by one. Now it's not a straightforward process, there's a couple of steps required, but once you've done it a few times, it's not too bad. Now, first of all, we have to get a couple of things ready um, on our machine. We need to find a tool that's going to help convert our table of data into the right format that Moodle will recognize it. Now there's various tools out there that might do it. This is the one that I've found and it works for me. I'll put the web address into the notes for this video which you can access later. But basically it's a zip file called Glossary XML Converter and it was produced by somebody back in December 2008 so it's seven years old but it still seems to work and it works for me and it's what I use. There's no guarantee with regards to the use of this software, it's used entirely at one's own risk uh, but it is the tool that I personally use. What we need to do is download that zip file and then unpackage it. And what we should find, and what you should find is when you've unzipped it and you've saved it somewhere on a computer it will be called Glossary XML Converter. So we're going to use that shortly. Let's go back to our Moodle course. Now I've got a Moodle course, I've already created the glossary, so I'm assuming that you know how to do that part. And when I go into the glossary, I've already added one item. You have to have at least one item in the system for this to work. Now what we're going to do is we're going to export the entries within our glossary. So I'm in the glossary, there's the administration block and the glossary administration and we're going to go down to export entries. It's going to export them to file and you can see there it appears at the bottom uh, in my case in my downloads folder. So if I go to downloads there's the file that I've just exported. Now I'm going to open this using notepad so I'm going to right click, then go open with and choose notepad. I'm just looking for a simple text editor software in order to be able to edit that document. So when I open it up it looks like this. It's quite sort of scary because it doesn't seem to make any sense. But what we're looking for is somewhere in there it will have the word entries inside brackets and then later on it will have slash entries in brackets. That's the bit that we want. Now just to make it a bit easier for me to see and for you to see, I'm going to press and enter so that we can see what we're working with and just move that down. Now within my entries area I then have my single entry for the item that I've already added what we're going to do is we're going to replace that with our own uh, data. So we need to create a re repetition of that for each of the items in our table. So going back to that file that we downloaded called the Glossary and XML Converter, I'm going to right click and I'm going to open it in Internet. Uh, in Microsoft Edge. Uh, I'm just using a different browser than what I'm working in. You don't have to, I just find it easier for me. I'm then going to find my source of data. So in this case I've got a spreadsheet. Uh, I've only got four terms and four descriptions but you could have dozens or hundreds of terms and that's where this technique really comes into effect. I'm going to select the terms and their descriptions and it's important I have just two columns. Okay, it'll only work with two columns of data. So I'm copying. Control and C or right click and copy. I'm going back to the converter and in the left hand box I'm going to paste. Now if I scroll down and I click on convert, what it will do is it will create a similar looking file the one that we had open in Notepad. So what I'm looking for on this side here is 
where it says entries, the same as before, inside brackets. And then I need to go to the bottom and I need to find the closing entries bracket, so bracket slash entries. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy everything in between those two items, including the bracketed bit. So I'm copying that section there. Once I've done that, I go back to my notepad and I'm going to replace the equivalent item in this notepad file. So again, I've made sure that I've got the entries and the slash entries highlighted and I'm going to paste. So all I've done is I've swapped my existing entry for the new one. I can now just go file and save. So I'm saving that uh, XML format file. I'm going to go back to my Moodle and we're going to now reverse the process. So we before exported entries, we're now going to import entries. Here's my file which I've just edited. I can simply drag and drop. If that doesn't work, you can use the choose a file option. And I'm going to submit. It's told me that it's brought in four entries. If there's any duplicates or any errors, it will tell you at this stage. I click on continue, and there are my entries added to my glossary. So though it might seem quite complex, once you've done it a few times, it's not too bad. And certainly if you're adding lots of items, this is a very useful technique.